everybody, it's Frida. It is 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, July 31st, 2014. Hope you guys are doing good and getting ready for a great weekend. I just wanted to touch base with you about the Ebola virus concern that's out there. Um, first of all, there is no virus here in the United States. We have not had an outbreak here. However, it is a small world, and as you know, there's been virus outbreaks uh, in Africa. Um, CNN here has posted uh, today an interesting little theoretical story. Uh, a man boards a plane in Liberia with a slight fever. As the jet nears an airport in New York, his temperature rises, his throat grows sore. It's the flu, he thinks, after he lands, but he's wrong. He's caught the Ebola virus. He soon dies of hemorrhagic fever. What in the hell is hemorrhagic fever? You want to see it? Look at that. This is just disgusting. I mean, it kind of flips me out a little bit. I almost can't keep looking at this picture, but those are blisters full of blood. Um, if you go to the CDC page, and I'm going to put the link below, if you look under signs and symptoms, you know, there's your basic fever, headache, muscle aches, weakness, diarrhea, vomiting, stomach pain, lack of appetite. Ow! But you come on down to some patient's experience, a rash red eyes, hiccups, cough, sore throat, chest pain, difficulty breathing, swallowing, and bleeding inside and outside of the body. Um, this is the bleeding inside and outside of the body that they're referencing. There's a picture of a hand. Oh my gosh, it's just, isn't that freaky? Um, the eyes really are freaky looking. Look at the bloodshot eyes. There's one there. I mean, this is a pretty serious virus, you know. Um, I'm not excited about this one at all. Now, I'm not uh, one of those people that panics over um, medical emergencies because of my location and um, how far away I am from a city. And if we had an outbreak, just knowing I'd rather be here than being up in a city somewhere. So... I, uh, I just wanted to point some of these out. It's something for us to pay attention to and be aware of. Um, I don't think it's anything for us to panic about, but I did want to bring it to your attention what the Ebola virus looks like, what it does to you, um, and the fact that there is no treatment. You have to survive it on your own if you're going to survive, period, uh, which is kind of freaky. And I know that we do have two American doctors, a doctor and a nurse, who have contracted the disease. They were over in Africa and they're flying them back here they're bringing them home and there's some controversy about that you know should they be brought home or not because then they risk contaminating us and us having an outbreak here even though this is something that has never been seen in North America I wonder if that could be one of the things they used to refer to as uh, leprosy back in the ancient days kind of a little thought there anyway just wanted to discuss a little bit put some links out for you um, I don't think it's anything to panic about but I certainly think it's something to become educated about and be aware of so hope you guys are doing good and I uh, hope you're getting ready for a great weekend coming up peace